This design feature prevents uneven wear of the seat and disc. In addition to the regular seat, some globe valves, like some other types of valves, have a back seat. If we look inside the bonnet of a globe valve that has a back seat, we can see that when the valve is fully open, the top side of the disc seats against the back seat. This prevents the packing of the valve from being constantly exposed to piping system pressure and reduces the likelihood of a packing leak. You can usually recognize a globe valve by its globe-shaped body. However, not all globe valves look like this one. Here is another type of globe valve called an angle valve. It's easy to spot because of its globe-shaped body with piping connections at a right angle. Angle valves are used to change the direction of fluid flow. This is another type of globe valve called a needle valve. Needle valves are usually smaller than other globe valves and are designed to give fine control of flow in small diameter piping. A needle valve has basically the same parts as other globe valves, but its disc is shaped differently, like a needle. The needle extends deep into the seating area of the valve. A small movement of the stem causes a small gradual change in the flow rate through the valve. This gives the needle valve an extremely fine throttling ability. On a piping system diagram, a needle valve generally looks like this. An angle valve generally looks like this. And a globe valve generally looks like this. If the symbols look like this or have the letters NO beside them, the valves are normally open. If the symbols are filled in or have the letters NC beside them, the valves are normally closed. The symbol may also be shown partially filled in. When the symbol is shown this way, the valve is in a throttled position. 